Hey everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play. Hedon. Or Hedon. Hedon, I think. In the next, in the next, in the last episode, Zan had fought her way through Volk into the grove therein in an attempt to get to this portal and take it to the Crystal Heart to join the defenders, assuming there are some left there, trying to repulse the cultists. We had a epic battle and had read quite a bit that the that the cultists, apparently working for someone named the Ethereal, were desperate to stop Zan from reaching the Crystal Heart and are terrified of her. All their forces are being decimated by her and they don't seem to be able to stop her. They tried several ambushes. They had several great uh, defensive fortifications and lines drawn, but Zan was able to surpass all of them in the end. She made her way to the portal where we found it corrupted by this dark ooze. We were able to defeat a large force that was teleporting in to try to stop us, but the portal then activated, and something occurred which destroyed everyone within this area except for Zan. With the portal activated, Zan then stepped through, only something went wrong with the teleportation. And instead of ending up with the Crystal Heart, she's back here again. And she doesn't have any of her equipment either. We have no weapons at all on us. I'm not allowed to throw the switch, so we're not going back to the Reaver's outpost. The key is here. So this must be before the portal was happened. Maybe it put us back in time. Maybe in addition to traveling space, it also does travel time. Rot. 503. Day 176. The date of this last entry appears to be well over two months ago. Received. Two crates of leather straps and a barrel of salt from Lower Valk. Stored by the portal. Received three root oil jugs for Earth Mother Bendai. We'll keep them inside for when she drops by. Looks like that one friend hadn't taken the vine key yet. So let's take it. But I need to stop here, everyone, because I just cut and then started recording from the last episode. When I come back, we'll do this. Give me a few seconds. Right, I already recorded the introduction for this part. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's the next day. I don't, I don't have. I was about to do another, do another summary. There's no reason to. So it looks like we've been thrown back in time. Judging from the two months ago note we just read in the power uh, room there for the portal. So let's see what things look like here in the grove or in Valk now. Is that right? The portal to Valk... The portal to the Crystal Heart was directly outside... The Crystal Mine we had just found. And this was the area that was... Open last time. Seems... Wrong to me. Well, let's go in and see what had been happening here. A few months ago. The Dwarven Prospector should arrive by the end of the moon. If he's wearing an elemental ring signet, you may let him in. Let's 
something isn't right with this. Day 233. We've had a strange tremor today. The ground shook for a while, and I swear I heard a quaint tune going along with it. Almost like some steam hissing down below. Chill me to the bone. We've also heard some rubble collapsing. Guess we'll have to look into it and reinforce weaker caves. And only a month after our army set off. I know I'm worrying too much, but I also hate this coincidence. Are you... Overreacting? Looks like they were still developing the power here. Seems a bit empty for two months ago. Unless everyone is out in the mines at this moment. <sighs> That's the switch to the waterfall gate. This cavern is not underwater. What is going on? <sighs> We're not leaving. Looks like the portal we came through, but isn't quite right. A power core. We're now in the closet. Still underwater. Before we use that and with that door, let's double check everything really quick. Okay. Something. This is wrong. Something is very wrong here. Horribly wrong. We are not. We are not actually here. Or rather, this is not where we think it is. One second, I thought there was a note there that was rather eerie to read, but it is not there. Okay. <sighs> Alright, let's move on, Tim.
we needed more proof that something wasn't right, this would be it. There's no tremors happening. I really want to see what's in that little secret area that we had seen earlier. Armor shards and more mushrooms, but not kind of the secret this time. allowed out of this cave. Find yourself before she finds you. We are on a timer, apparently, to figure out what is going on. It's us. This is where we started our adventure from. Well, if we needed any more proof that we are absolutely not where we had thought we were, this would be it. Can I make that jump? I think from here we can. Oh, no, no, we can't. She's leading us through this maze. The strange dream sequence we're in. Whoop, you almost missed it. We did miss it several times, Apoth. Leap, you faithful hound. What's the matter? not getting out of here if we don't follow her. All you have to do is open a simple door. Hmm. 
Not so simple, though, to reach it. Ah, yes. Your memories are eluding you. I thankfully haven't had any dreams like this. <laughs> My dreams are a bit more insane than this. But trying to reach a door that simply is out of reach forever would is really would be really frustrating. Search for it. means turning this place upside down. I think she's talking about an exit. Interesting that we can recover our life in this dream sequence here. So it has some effect on reality. Probably if whoever's looking for us finds us in here, that will be the end of us. Of course, this also assumes that Apoath isn't just lying to us and tricking us. This was some maze burning red hot that our mind locked us behind. Someone put this block in us to stop us from remembering what happened. There's no guarantee though it wasn't Apoloth. Yes, it was a great battle. against the demons. Uh, I didn't want to step on the lava. A choice. Oh, we're okay. Okay, the lava doesn't work the way I thought it would here. But it was treason that ultimately decided the victor. Where is she? So we're witnessing some fragments of the memories we have of what occurred against the demons. There she is. You and the Iron Division made it deep into enemy territory. You've carved your way towards the Hell Gates, poised to strike at the very heart of the demons. Little did you know that the siege was where it would all come to an end. Maddened with corruption, your own forge elementals have turned against you, a sudden and deadly betrayal. They struck down your siege weapons and supplies as demons grinned from behind the dark gates. By the time you repelled the attack, your fate had already been sealed. You could not advance nor retreat. Your only hope was to wait for the supply line to send help, but alas, the transports had made this, met the same fate. God outplayed strategically, good for the demons and whoever decided to aid them. Horrible for us. You held up for a week, then you began to starve. The demons had you in their claws now. 
They knew well your supplies would never come. All they did was unleash the Cerebri upon you. Weakened as you were, you fought the last breath. All your hopes have been shattered, but your fate has yet to be fulfilled. Come, it is time to reveal your purpose. They watched us struggle, they starved us out, and then they sent out with the, their dogs, not caring if they died or not, to finish us off. What an awful way to go. Ever wondered why the orcs have accepted a half-demon like you among them? <laughs> Your blood is the key to defeat the demons. It sounded like the Iron Division was doing rather well and might have actually succeeded if not for the betrayal. But this is probably also good information to know there's something special about Zahn. The orcs needed you. Is her name. She is behind the invasion of your stronghold. Some of your sisters have assumed it was the demons who launched the attack, but they were wrong. Much like me, she is from the Nether, a place even demons fear to dare. What your sisters did assume correctly, however, is that Nethereal received help from within your ranks in order to launch such a precise attack just a month after you left town. Who's the monk? No idea. But your Lancers, as you call them, have always protected your city from magical attacks. Someone has tampered with the wards from the inside. Your friend Taiti thinks you are involved. She thinks you are a coward who fled battle. <laughs> Such an example of bravery she is. She knew about your return long before she let you know it. She was just unsure. She could have opened some doors for you, help you link up with the rest of your survivors. Instead, she chose to keep you at distance and leave notes behind. You cannot trust her. The Ethereal seeks a powerful artifact held by the Lancers. She has a grand scheme in mind, and as we speak, her cultists are carving their way towards what you call the Crystal Heart. It is here where the artifact lies, hidden by an ancient civilization that went extinct long ago. After all, you didn't imagine the orcs came up with crystal tech by themselves, did you? What the artifact does is of no importance now. What matters is that I need you to stop her. You do want vengeance, don't you? Besides, you owe me your life. Come now. Step in. Right. I save your skin, remember? I am not sure she is telling the truth about this. But perhaps it is the enemy of my enemy in this instance. And from what we have discovered so far about Nethereal, she definitely seems to match the description of what we've seen about an elven warlock who is powerful enough to just destroy most of the Iron Orcs back at Valk. We haven't heard anything about the assault on the Demon Gates either. Odds are it was indeed wiped out. Of course you don't. You 
hit your head pretty hard. I dragged you away from battle a mere moment before you would have died. You're welcome. For days you crawled through dark caves, holding on to your final breath. But you couldn't die now. You still have a mission to fulfill. But then, the unpredictable happened. Now you know how it began, and you know what you must end. Hurry now, time to... She was faster than I expected. You have to get out. Find yourself before she finds you. I really liked this part. I was not expecting a horror game of some sort. And now, we have to get back out of, the, of these caves. When I did this earlier, I was able to do this without Nathiriel touching me. I'm assuming you die immediately if she manages to reach you. She seems to have trouble seeing. I wouldn't force my luck, though. She is fast. We know that's a very narrow series of tunnels, so we're not going to go that way. To my recollection of this part, unless she touches you, which didn't happen to me, uh, she won't actually sense you. More of that black ooze. So I think we want to be... near this door. Right, we'll, we will have the time to get in there. I really love the idea of this mind prison that we're trying to get out of. She can kill you before you can blink in this place. We're dead. <laughs> okay, we gotta do this again. Awesome. Alright, so she does kill you if she touches you. I think that was our first death, too. <laughs> I was a little impatient. I saw a chance to go and took it. I should, however, have watched when she left, yeah, and then looked down this passage. Well, that's going to be interesting. This 
so okay we have to go down that passage hmm that's the I thought that was a way out maybe it's not I'm positive this is, this is the way I took <laughs> on the other slot, my save slot, unless they've changed things up on hardcore mode. Let's, uh, let's get back up there. And I think we'll actually do a save here, since getting past those parts isn't too difficult and we'll save some time. go okay uh, we're gonna just move right up to her okay too close actually how far does she move into that hallway oh okay she just okay uh, that's what I should be paying attention to she does not move very far into the hall so we don't have to move all the way up we just have to move up far enough Cute. I like her black lipstick. That's it. You're almost out. What the? First boss battle of the game, everyone. San. San. managed to, I guess, find ourselves or get rid of the mental influence she had enough to be teleported to fight her. But it won't be easy. We still have the jumping to help us out here. I don't know if I really want to exchange blows with her uh, in melee. You'll note her life is in the upper left-hand corner. We take out like one hit point of her when we throw the axe at her. Ooh, ah! And this is the battle I was talking about earlier when I mentioned I might have to do actual saves and between each stage. Because she will not be easy to defeat. We'll try it uh, twice without doing any saves and see if I'm good enough at, at the game to do so. Good for her fading away just as I'm about to hit her in melee. She's being a little more cautious now. Ooh, yes, right in the... Right in the chest. Those uh, energy bolts track you. I'm not going to want to pick up. Okay. Let's say, I'm oh god, I'm not going to want to pick up the crystal until I begin to lose uh, armor. Okay, we can get out. Oh, oh my god, that's a forge elemental. Okay, we want to kill all the adds first if we can. I saw that item, but we can't take it. Oh god, that was a that's a giant pit. Oh, she has no, it's just her throwing bolts at us at the moment. We need more frag fire cans. I should probably be using 
Oh, I don't my axe. I don't have an axe at the moment. Because I didn't have one equipped apparently. And we still need to kill the ethereal as well. Elemental ring. We really can't let those forge elementals exist. We we've got to kill those. Oh, this is this is really bad, everyone. This is really bad. Okay, she has summoned, it looks like, other flying friends. We need to kill those as well. But we're gonna have uh, too many bolts to worry about dodging. Ooh, <laughs> a little urchin flying around there. Oh God, it got stuck on something. Is that all her assistance? It is not. Got one. Good. Missed. Every frag fire. Let's get rid of that so we can reload. I hate how long range these bolts are, and they are they're tricky to dodge. Okay. All of her friends are now defeated. We didn't put any damage on her during that fight, but that's acceptable. Alright, we gotta do the whole fight over again. Oh, no, we don't! Okay! Wait. We fell off the stage and the game bloated us here. Interesting. She is changing up her attack patterns now. This is very similar to playing uh, a, a low-grav deathmatch, which is one of the, my more favorite types of Unreal modes to play back in the day. I don't have any axes. I'm gonna want one. I wonder if this means we can actually throw ourselves off the ledge if it comes right down to it, and we'll just rematerialize if push comes to shove. Might as well grab another axe. It's, it's basically. Well, not free damage, but it's damage. Actually, we can use our Minotaur uh, potion, our strength potion. But let's run around first. Oh, and I have an elemental ring as well on me. And I saw a what looked like a uh, iron skin potion earlier. Do it? Did I pick it up? We did. Oh, I have lots of stuff on me. Okay. Let's look at this really quick again. Okay, we can use that in the future. We don't need it at the moment. Oops, it would help if I had the axe equipped. Right in her head. Oh, good shot, Tim. From my recollection, if you, uh... If you die to her, you have to redo all this over again. But I love this boss battle. Okay, next stage. We have more ads. So we're just gonna run around the outskirts. We do our best yet to kill these. Ooh. Okay, there are these purple spikes that show up occasionally and uh, spread. Oh, Tim, you're taking lots of damage. Spread outwards. I think 
I think she can also keep summoning cultists if she so wishes. Why don't we actually have one of my items, Tim? So this will make us harder to hit. The enemies will not be able to directly aim at me. Or rather, they have a chance to miss when they do so. I think she might be able to just constantly, by the way, respawn these enemies, but I can't remember. So we're going to run around. Nice. We have a grenade launcher now. We're going to run around a bit. Tim, you're, you're not aiming correctly yet with this weapon. You gotta do a lot better than this. Yeah, keep keep in the air. Pretend this is pretend this is unreal. I was a little curious what happened there. We accidentally picked up a oh god, an axe. Cro nice, crush bow acquired. And yes, okay, so she is constantly teleporting into enemies. So we can't get too distracted by the cultist, Tim says, to get distracted by the cultist. We need to focus on her. So if, as we're running around, I suppose we might as well kill a few more of them. Rounds. Okay, we need we need to kill her. And we can probably use our grenade launcher. Damn you. Woo! Look at all those bolts everywhere. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of jumping. Do a little bit of cultist cleanup. Woo! I love the over over my head. I know what you're thinking, Tim. You're amazing with the grenade launcher. Once once I get into the hang of of it again, I am pretty good at grenade with grenade launchers. Which is good, because I'm really bad with the crush bow. <sighs> Final stage. Final stage. Oh, it looks like the ammo also reloads, by the way. Let's use another cr uh, crystal. On. Let's get some distance. If the ammo and life we jet uh we keeps reappearing, that would have been good to know the first time I did this battle a few days ago. I really want her friend to die. But actually we just have to focus on the ethereal. Hello, Material. You are right on top of me. We should stick with the grenade launcher. You're really good with this weapon. Woo! Well, I mean, I'm Tim. I'm good with, I'm good with every single weapon. <laughs> I'm not good, though, at avoiding giant clumps of rocks, which are clearly easily seen. Look at that. 
I am, I am amazing. Oh, we're also hurt. So we should grab some more potions. Where is she? Last stage. Don't, don't mess it up now, Tim. Woo! Metal note, we can get some height. I, that was a mistake. That was me reloading. Accidentally, should not be doing that. Rossi almost out of rounds for my grenade launcher. We'll switch to the weapon briefly. I just want to clear out some of the cultists. I reloaded again by accident. Come on, Tim, stop that. Okay, it does look like the ammo falls from the sky on occasion, which is good to know. Do we have any other items to make that are good here? Uh, I guess we'll use the blast resistance. We severely hurt her, but we didn't kill one of our assistants. Woo! Not bad! That was awesome! I did it first try! <laughs> I fully expected to have to make a bunch of uh, saves for every single stage that she went in into. Woo! Thank goodness for those, like, two years of uh, insta-gib, low-grav uh, deathmatch and it captured the flag I played back when I was playing Unreal. All those years ago. Woo! Man. That was a lot of fun. All right. Well, we beat her off. Uh, shouldn't have said that. And now we, now we can get out of this mind trap she's put us in. Secret, 100%. Interesting. We didn't find any secrets, so that must mean there was none in this map. Entering parapet. A loud shriek pierced and echoed through the abyss, as the ethereal conjured all her powers to preserve her life. A bright flash of light briefly blinded the horned warrior, and she could do little but stand and watch the elven warlock ascend towards the starry nether. The battle was over but it somehow felt like it had not even truly began. As the hellish sky faded into serenity, a dark portal emerged from the ground. Zan couldn't help but ponder if any of that was actually real. As soon as she entered the portal, a sudden shock woke her up. Tongues of crisp wind whistled through the trees, spreading scents of pine. Where was she now? The mountainscape surrounding her looked chillingly familiar. She was outside, farther away than ever from stopping the ethereal. The tired sigh, she grasped her gun and steps forward, nervously wondering what happened to Abhoth, and if she'll turn up to the point to point the way before the, the heart is lost. <sighs> Alright, everyone. Well, I guess we will pick up here in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Hope it was fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.